the, the way the rules have changed, it's going to throw up some interesting conundrums for the teams. And I, I think it will be interesting, from my point of view, to see how they solve them and whether or not um, you know, it's still the same um, bias towards electric power. I think from a design perspective, and it does tie into the other events of cost especially and stuff, is that you need to consider all of the, the vehicle as a whole and the implications it has across the different events as a holistic and iterative process. Uh, and secondly, that someone has to consider this big picture view at the same time as all the other people do the details. And what you generally find is that you go around this loop a few times and everything will magically knit together. If it doesn't magically knit together, stop and start again. We also learn from it, you know, because we've seen technology evolve, which, uh, you know, has been tremendous in particular the last, I would say, eight years. You've seen a tremendous uh, increase in, in uh, electronics, electronic control, and the use of that and the application of it. Uh, design suites in software have you know, dramatically improved the student's ability to come up with some really extraordinary designs. And it's always very invigorating to see how the guys are, you know, with their energy, are, are really going into it. We are uh, supporting Formula Student via with software. So every team that is participating in Formula Student UK can have access to our software and additionally can have access to our resources. So what we are doing, we are running a video podcast. A video episode is broadcasted every two weeks just to help the teams. We are covering topics relevant for them. And in these sessions, we are covering topics like how can MATLAB help them in your suspension design? It's a, it's a combination of teamwork, I think. It's a combination of whilst there might be separate people doing separate areas, that if you have a very rigid structure and rigidly keep people in little pigeonholes, the amount of man management to join them together is massively disproportional to the result, in my opinion. Make sure that the team is a good team and that the people are committed. Yeah? If they say they're going to do something, then you know, that is what their commitment must reflect. And, and you can't have somebody saying, I'll do it, and then let, next week you have to push them again. Because, as Neil was saying before, there's so little time. You don't appreciate how much needs to be done. And you may look at a plan and you think, oh yeah, we can do that. But it's a very complex thing. A car is an enormously complex um, uh, system of various means that have to work together in a proper way. And no matter what they think, things do not fit together as they planned. Suppliers do not deliver things on time and all of those bits. And even if you're doing it all yourself, you'll still find things do not fit together. And you need to build in some time to do that. We need to consider the vehicle as a system not just as a collection of parts. Uh, I would advise them to use simulation, but be very precise in the goals. So what do you expect from simulation? And when you apply it properly, you will save a lot of time, you will save a lot of testing time, but you need to have the right goals and the right source of data, the right input data, and then it really will help you and save time. So make sure you've got diagrams, make sure you, if you you probably um, are going to get some problems because none of these cars are extensively tested, so they're all, they've all got reliability issues in some respect. Um, but it's about actually recognising what the issues are and fixing them quickly. Again, that's part of a, a professional racing team environment. You know, we're not all standing around scratching our heads. We know what the problem is. And that brings me back to the days when I was doing it, thinking, you know, we lived it. And at the time when you live it, you don't really quite appreciate how special it is and can be. You know, if you have a good team, there's nothing like it. And particularly in the old days, we always used to say a race is won in the workshop, not on the track. It's preparation and attention to detail. We used to say ATD, attention to detail. Everything bases itself on that.